right, welcome to KTM 890 Adventure R. Already this feels better than the 790. Yes, feels very stable. Interesting to see later how this fairing is on the on the highway speeds because it is quite low. Yeah, this bike feels way more nimble than the Tenere 700. You can definitely feel, even though this weighs more, it feels very light doing this. So it changes direction quite easily. Feels uh, like the weight is very low on this bike. Okay, how is the suspension here? Uh, okay. Not much difference so far to the Tenere. I have to be a little careful because I don't know. I have no assistance on, so. And this bike is very powerful. Oh, yeah, it does like to <laughs> turn that rear wheel. Oh, it's very easy to control actually. The drifts are very stable. And take it easy. There was a lot of bikers here earlier. Uh, not anymore, apparently. The standing position is quite low, so you have to have an aggressive stance on this bike, which I like actually. Very natural position to stand on this bike. And uh, there's a lot of power on tap, so you have to be a little wary of the throttle hand going off road, but yeah. Yeah, it likes to pull the rear end sideways very very fast if I sit down here the bike feels very comfortable compared to the Tenere 700 this is a better suspension it takes in the little bumps very much better it doesn't feel crashy like my Tenere does but you definitely feel that you're driving a heavy bike very polished bike I think this was actually one of my options before I bought the Tenere but I took the Tenere because I couldn't test ride this and of course this is way more expensive but right now I can say that uh, either way I would have made a good decision if you want to pay for all the fancy gadgets and the more power that this bike has and of course you can justify the price difference and the suspension is definitely better I can tell you that much already you don't have to do anything to this suspension it's I think it's already brilliant and it's not even adjusted to my weight who knows what the settings are but it feels really nice those little bumps it just smoothens them out feels like driving a air suspension Mercedes compared to my Tenere 700 this is one of the rare occasions that we can ride off-road a little bit with this so I'm very lucky to be able to test this bike like this and yeah I, I do like it it's no surprise With the stock components, this is probably one of the bikes that is actually ready to race. With these middle size adventure bikes, I think this is the best I've ever driven. I have to say. I love the Tenere, I love the Tour X660, but this feels more polished, more finished product. This feels like the suspension has been already done on my Tenere with some high-end components. Oh yeah. Very nice, very nice. I could do this all day. Now let's try and change the traction mode to street. Actually I'm gonna stop and do it here because I don't remember how to do it. Now I'm getting full power from the engine. Let's try the acceleration. Wow, that's a lot of power. Compared to the 
790, this definitely feels faster. But the wind is really bad with this fairing. I don't know if you can even hear me. If I sit normally here, I get a lot of wind in my helmet and the sound is unbearably loud. So as a touring bike, change this fairing, you have to do it. That's insane. The wind noise is unbearably loud. I could not ride this more than five minutes with this fairing without earplugs on. So I definitely, if I would be touring with this bike, which this bike is meant for, I would change a taller windscreen here definitely because this is insanely loud. I'm not sure if you can adjust it. It doesn't look like it. And one thing that I would say to against the 790 is that this bike is very tall compared. So for me this is pretty much on the limit. Let's actually try the quick shifter for a bit. Yeah, it works very well. Doing a hundred here on the motorway, if you can hear me, is uh, very loud. But the bike feels very stable, so there's no vibration to my ass, absolutely none. I can feel that ever so slightly vibration in my handlebars, but very, very minor. Less than I can feel in my Tenere, which is a stable bike to my, in my opinion. And I can barely feel any vibration in my knees here. But this bike is pretty fat between your knees. So that's something I don't really love about this. The Tour X660 is very light and nimble and it's very small between your legs so it feels like you're driving an Enduro bike. But this definitely feels like you're driving a fat bike. There probably is a little bit better wind protection to your legs though compared to my Tenere 700. Even here on these town speeds, it's a very stable bike, very nicely controlled. The suspension and everything works very well. It's a super comfortable cruiser. Only thing I hate is that fairing. That is ridiculously bad. I would actually say it could be better to take it off completely. And the standing position is uh, its nice, I, I like it. If I take an aggressive stance here, everything is right there where it needs to be. Very nice. The gear changes are very smooth, especially when I use the clutch. But even going down the quick shifter is really fast and you barely notice the change. There's a little twitch of course, but... Uh, very nice bike. I guess in closing I would say that the KTM 890 is a package that's hard to fold with a short ride like this. To me it's high praise for a bike as bikes that don't have any noticeable annoyances to me are pretty rare. This of course comes with a hefty hefty price tag in the KTM's case but one can see it's a well thought out package and for the right buyer probably well well worth it. Highlight for the ride for me was definitely the suspension though. These quick rides that I do are never supposed to be a full-on review of the bike. They're just a 20 minute test ride and my feelings about the bike after that. So don't be too harsh on me on the comments because uh, I don't have the same access as some of the big channels. But YouTube is full of these uh, full reviews of these bikes. So go check them out if you want to see all the specs and all that stuff. This is just me telling my ass feeling about these bikes.